Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. Today we are making green banana cuckoo with salt or codfish gravy. So guys, let's get started. Alright guys, so my pan is pretty much heated up, so I'm going to use some of my favorite oil, the garlic flavored olive oil, okay? And it's hot, so you're going to put enough in there. Alright. To cook your vegetables. So I'm going to start with my onions and peppers, okay? and the green onions as well. All right, so you wanna leave your tomatoes, your butter and fresh thyme. All right, so you wanna saute these, uh, the onions and the peppers and the green onions for about three minutes. And um, when you're making any kind of cuckoo, you need to make your gravy first, all right? That's the way I was taught. And you can keep it warm, you know, and you're warmer, you know, for when your cuckoo is all done and ready. Okay, so now I'm gonna add my codfish. A salt fish. Put that for two minutes. Then I'm gonna add my tomatoes and my thyme. All right. So now I'm gonna add my thyme. And tomatoes. All right, so I'm gonna add some freshly ground black pepper to taste. All right, guys, so I'm gonna add just a little bit of water. All right, everyone. So my gravy has simmered down pretty nicely and it tastes amazing, guys. All right, so that's all done so now we're going to move on to cook our green bananas right all right guys so I have my water boiling my bananas are all washed very well so what I'm gonna do is just cut the ends off just like that the top and the bottom then I'm gonna core with a sharp knife just like that. All right, just like that. And I'm cooking six green bananas, okay? So, cut the top, the bottom off, and you core it down. Just like that. And I already have the salt in the water already, okay? So I'm just gonna cook these until they are very soft and tender. 
right everyone so the green bananas are ready to go and guys you can see how soft they are the skin is actually you know coming apart from the bananas all right so that's what you know you need to do all right so we're gonna get started by putting our banana look at that guys how easy is that I just want to cut it a couple times <clears throat> All right. so do you see why you uh, score the bananas before you cook them this is the results All right, guys, so I'm gonna add my sour cream. I know some people are gonna say sour cream, but you do need something, you know, to make your bananas creamy, All right? And guys, I'm gonna put a little bit of ice cold water, okay? All right. All right, guys, I'm gonna give this a head start by just taking a fork and crushing them a bit first, okay? And you do have to work fast with the green bananas because they tend to go hard very quickly. And the cold water is gonna to help to keep them, you know, soft and creamy. Okay guys, I'm liking the texture of this and that's pretty much, that's pretty good. Just a little bit more and we're good. All right, guys. I am sure liking the texture of this. Okay, so if you want to have it a bit creamier, you can add a bit more of the um, the sour cream but I like the texture of this oh yeah this looks perfect all right so guys here's your banana green banana cuckoo so I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna plate it and let you guys see what the end result looks like so Stay tuned. All right, guys. So I have uh, some sliced tomatoes as well as some avocados, and um, I have my green banana cuckoo here, and I have my saltfish or codfish gravy, and I'm gonna go ahead and plate it for you, and I'll bring you back and let you see what it looks like. Okay, everyone, here is the finished product of my green banana cuckoo. And it really looks amazing and it tastes just as good, guys. I hope you really enjoy this tutorial. And um, if you do, please give me a big thumbs up. And I really appreciate you all taking the time out of your busy schedules to watch all my videos and I will see you again in the next one so again thank you all so much and take care